Hey Google, switch on the lights. Got it. Turning on three lights. As we spend more and more time working from home, having a comfortable workspace which is organized as per your workflow will make you more productive and also develop as your personal entertainment space. Hi, I'm Karthik, tech entrepreneur, fitness instructor and content creator. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my workspace which I have been setting up over the last few months. Before 2020 hit us hard, I was always on the move traveling and taking classes and did not find a need to have a set workspace as I never worked for more than a couple of hours sitting on a desk. I had this nice IKEA desk and a wooden chair from my dining table that would just do the job for me. However, like everyone in 2020, I'm spending more time working from home and the wooden chair I was using and my hunching down on the laptop was giving me a lot of back and neck pain. So I decided to set up my workspace to be more ergonomic and aesthetically pleasing. Most of the products from the popular test set of videos were not available in India or are extremely expensive. So I jotted down all the things I really need and figured out the specific products on Amazon and IKEA. And as soon as they opened for business, I bought them and tried them out. I did return a lot of products which were not satisfactory or up to the mark and kept those which really made sense to my workflow. Link to any of the products I mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. Now, the first thing I did was to get a bigger monitor which was height adjustable. I also wanted something which had very minimum bezels but was not that expensive. After a lot of research, I settled on the HP Elite Display 23.8 inch Full HD monitor which apart from being height adjustable can also be rotated for a portrait display. Although I must admit, I never used the portrait display much. Overall, I am happy with this purchase although I would have liked a 4K ultra wide display but that was way out of my budget. For some backlighting, I got this USB LED light strip which I stuck to the back of the monitor. It's got some buttons to change the colors and it works well. Coming to the desk, I wanted to get a wide sit stand desk since the smaller IKEA desk which I had could not fit my whole setup. Again, since I had a lot of wires hanging from the side of the table, I decided against it. I used my wooden dining table, which we never used because it wasn't pointing to our TV. I also realized sitting down on the ground and eating also improved my posture. Moving on, my setup is powered by a 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2012 model, which I had upgraded by replacing its HDD to 512 SSD and adding a 16 GB RAM. This has been my workhorse for over 5 years now, although it's almost time to change as it's showing its age when I'm using the Final Cut Pro and other such applications. To mount my laptop, I got this nice little stand from Amazon Basics, the aluminium foldable laptop stand and it just works fine. I don't really like to look at multiple monitors, so I usually keep the MacBook Pro closed. But since I build websites and web apps, I open it to test the sites on laptop resolution. Otherwise, I would have liked the laptop tucked away outside or under the table. Next up is my powered external 4TB Thunderbolt G drive which I highly recommend. It's quite expensive but worth it. After I lost my external hard drive and data along with it, I wanted reliable storage and did not mind spending on one. So after doing a lot of research, I found this storage to be the most recommended. Honestly, G Drive till now has been my best investment. For audio, I was on the fence between Audio Technica MX50 or Bear Dynamics 770 Pro. But ultimately, I went with Audio Technica MX50 as I got an offer on Amazon for a refurbished one at a budget. I love the clarity of sound of MX50 and being a wired headphone comes the reliability of the connection. This helps me be precise with the audio mixing. Although I hate the long wire and headphone cups of the MX50, which gets hot and sweaty especially during summers, they work very well for my needs. I might get an amplifier to take full advantage of the headphone's capabilities. Since I use my Audio Technica MX50 for all my editing and mixing purposes, 
I have the Google Mini for some light listening and also helps me control my smart bulbs. As far as peripherals goes, I currently use simple wired Dell keyboard as I plan to purchase a Keychron K2 mechanical keyboard whenever the shipping opens up in India. For mouse, I got the MX Master 2S which is brilliant mouse with its multiple configurable keys for maximum productivity. There's a newer version, MX Master 3, but again, it's double the price of the Master 2S. Keyboard and mouse sit on top of this desk pad from Tizom. I would have liked it to be a little more wider as I have a full size keyboard. To be honest though, I feel it's not meant for me because I have a husky and also a lot of construction activity happens in my apartment and this mat collects a lot of hair and dust. For this price, it's a decent desk mat and I really needed one because my desk was not that smooth enough for my mom's. Moving on, I have this nice little mini chair on my table from IKEA which I use to mount my phone as I use it as a webcam for my Zoom meetings. I also have a mobile stand which I stuck to the desk with a double sided tape to keep it stable. To this, I added a dual micro USB and type C cable connected to my MacBook Pro via 4 port USB hub which I use to transfer data back and forth from the computer or charge devices. The other three ports of the USB hub handles mouse, keyboard and the time machine backup drive connections. For cable management, I channeled all the wires via the back of the table using a hard cardboard which I got while purchasing one of the products from Amazon. I tucked all the wires inside this wire organizer called the tidy up bin. All of this is connected to a search protector extension box. I'm not sure where I got the search protector though, but I will leave the alternatives in the description. For my chair, I got a full size chair from my closing down sale which was happening at one of the offices. Although I loved the IKEA chair as it had good lumbar support, I decided to purchase this as it was a decent enough chair and at a good price. To give an extra support, I bought a lumbar support product on Amazon but it was not strong enough. So I added a cushion inside it to make it work. To protect my eyes, I got this anti glare glasses from IntelliLens. It helps me get some good sleep after looking at the computer for long hours. At the corner of the table, I have the IKEA table lamp if I needed that extra light. I added the Vipro smart bulb because the switch was behind the desk and was not easily accessible. Finally, I added a nice poster and an artificial plant from IKEA to elevate the aesthetics. I also have a sanitizer always handy because it's 2020. Well, that's it. That's my desk. If you enjoyed this video, do comment, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it keeps me motivated to make more such videos. So until next time, adios.